This week on Life on Jupiter, we push hard against the Niagara River. It's a bit of a battle. We get across Lake Erie in three days, and we did not prepare for this. It was the flies and the bugs. bit of a battle. We Finally today we're leaving Tonawanda and uh, we're just going down 10 miles, 11 miles to uh, Buffalo. But this is the Niagara River and if we were to be adrift for about 10 miles that way we'd be over the falls. <laughs> so there's quite a current here and in fact further down uh, apparently the current gets seven maybe up to 10 knots. Right now, I think we've got nearly two knots against us. Both engines running and uh, pushing into a 20 knot headwind as well. That's why we've been sitting here for a week waiting for this southwesterly wind to drop off. And the forecast says tomorrow will be a good day. In fact, we should even get a little bit of a, a wind from behind to get to Erie on Lake Erie. But today we just, we wanted to get 10 miles down to Buffalo because tomorrow is gonna to be a long day. It's gonna be 4 a.m. departure and we should arrive in Erie around 7 p.m. It's about 70 miles. And we only do five, five and a half knots under motor. With one engine that is. Uh, we wanna try and save a bit of fuel. So conservative power settings. And I'm back to a place that I left a long time ago. Just give me a sec while I smoke this cigarette. My aching body feels better stored. What do you do? So the reason they built this canal here and this lock uh, is because of these big currents flowing in between Canada just there and Buffalo. And um, the lock here is called Black Rock Lock. It's hard to say actually on the radio. Black Rock Lock, Black Rock Lock. This is Jupiter 2, Jupiter 2. I did it though. <laughs> I didn't on the radio, I buggered it up. Anyway, yeah, we've got two or three knots of current right here and apparently it gets worse up there near the bridge. So uh, that's why they built the canal and the lock. Check it out, this current. So we got through the lock here in Buffalo, but this next bridge is normally a lifting bridge, but not today. It's broken. Mm. The chart says uh, it's a 16 foot height. And we are about 13, 
But the guy said, well, it depends on the water level. Well, it's pretty low. Yeah. Oh. Are we just going to take it slow and see how we go? It's so low. Maybe it's a, the water is high. Yeah, well, that's right. And also the wind has been blowing for the last few days from the southwest, which pushes all the water up this end. So that makes a big difference. Which, uh, uh, it's scary. Yeah. Can you jump up there now? Get up there and start looking. I think we can make it. Let's see what will happen. I don't think we can make it, B. I can see here. Nope. We cannot. Yes, can. Cannot. Yeah, I don't think we'll make it. We done an hour here maybe just starting to relax they open the bridge god damn it <laughs> that's all right we're not going far another five miles and we'll drop the anchor what do you do when you pick up a guitar on your plate when you need to escape every little thing will be better when I find a way find a way walk the road find a Mosquitoes. Look up here and the Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> I didn't see that. Mm. Walking this all down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we got our weather change, which was good. Got our I guess it was a low pressure pass passage last night. Thunderstorms and um Quite a bit of rain and didn't get much sleep. We went to sleep, well, tried to go to bed at about 11 and didn't sleep much at all. Uh, uh, so it's 4.30 now and it's time to go. We've got a big day, mm -hmm. uh, 13 hours of motoring. But for the first time in a, a week or two, it'll be what a part on. <laughs> <laughs> Whereas on the river, you're constantly, you know, mm -hmm. adjusting. So it'll be easier. Let's get a dry, get a dry bum. Yep. Yeah. Anchor up? Yep. Please. That's my job. Sorry. Yeah, clean 
Sleep. That's weed. <laughs> what the hell oh, that weed? We got yesterday. Don't anchor in that. <laughs> it doesn't work. Here's your coffee. Thank you. So far, we've been in Lake Erie for one day, and one thing we noticed sailing here, well, motoring here today, <laughs> was the flies and the bugs. Just out in the middle of the lake, attached themselves and started orbiting around Jupiter and making a freaking mess. And now at night time, Absolute swarm of bugs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I gotta get out. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Mm. Mm. And then you can spray when you close the door. Here inside. God. Well, we can spray, but it's just gonna make them 
Look at that was all. Oh, look at them all up there. <laughs> Lots of dead bodies. Freaking mess. So we're in the uh, in the city of Erie in this lovely lagoon here, but my God, uh, just getting swamped by bugs. So we have to lock up everything by sundown and hide in the dark <laughs> inside. But now we've got friends coming for barbecue and just cleaning up a little bit. And oh my God, we have the bugs are gone, but they've left this green. I don't know if it's, well, there's one. Oh, there's a nice big bumblebee. He's okay, but the rest of them, they're like these gnats or big mosquito looking things. Leave all this green. I don't know what it is, whether it's shit or eggs or what it is. And it takes a bit of scrubbing to get it off. Even on the hulls, they seem to have left eggs. Yeah, which you got to pick off with your finger. The whole of the boat is covered in this insect shit. My God. Nature is always trying to turn you back into dust. Oh, keep cleaning. Great Lakes. Yeah. We're in Lake Erie, and in fact, in the town of Erie. Um, our first foray into the lakes was yesterday from Buffalo to here. I tell you, it's so nice to not have to be constantly hand steering like in the canals and the rivers, you know. Uh, that's actually exhausting on the helm all day and rarely using the autopilot you know just always hand steering concentrating on logs and you know shallows we're on the lake just push go <laughs> and we're here yeah <laughs> so that's cool but yeah we ended up spending five nights in tonawanda buffalo uh because of a, a strong well it's a, not strong but a moderate southwesterly breeze of 15 18 knots and we're right up the north end of the bay, so the waves would have been quite, quite big. And we just can't motor into that. So, uh, yeah, we just had to wait. And it's a bit, I don't know, frustrating when you're racing against the visa to get out of the country before, you know, the visa yeah. expires. But you've got to wait for the weather. It's a bit frustrating. Mm -hmm. Anyway, we enjoyed yeah. Buffalo, or Tonawanda, we enjoyed. Went to Niagara Falls. Ah, oh, that's a nice experience. <laughs> now it's hot. <laughs> a refreshing experience. Yeah, that it's was very, very cool. cool. <laughs> Literally, yeah. wasn't it? Because yeah. it was a hot day and the mist on us was just ooh, beautiful. Yeah. And what else? Um, we watch a concert. Yeah, free concerts on yeah. on the riverbank. <laughs> noisy but really cool band really like good. The, I think they were called they were called Steel Horse they were like a biker band I think I'm not sure if they're really bikers but they and played really good rock yeah even Kenny Powers is there oh yeah <laughs> so the guitarists look like Kenny Powers I'm not sure if you know who that is but <laughs> a TV show he's bound and down So anyway, we're all dressed up uh, because it's, although it's sunny, it's a cool day. And two, we got a friend picking us up for lunch. So uh, it's great, the people you meet on the road, like we met this guy in Catskill yeah. for five minutes. And he said, oh, when you come to Erie, look me up, we'll take you out for lunch. And <laughs> that's what we're doing. <laughs>
diesel, isn't it? Yeah. Red, yeah? <laughs> I'm used to yellow diesel. Oh. Um, it, is, it is diesel. Yeah. Well, would imagine so. Full tank? Yeah. Well, it's not too bad. We've filled up in Chesapeake, didn't we? Mm. And we're now in Pennsylvania, Erie. Yeah, but we still have, right? Like well, it's still third, but we might as well get it now. Strawberry color. <laughs> change on the run. Uh, look after your oil engines. Oil is like the blood of your engine. If it gets dirty, you want to get rid of it. Get some new stuff. So we just reached a thousand hours on both of these engines. Uh, because it's shallow sump, I've got to change the oil every 150 hours. So probably one more oil change before we finish the loop, I think. <laughs> and watch. So every morning here on the lakes, uh, we found some new challenges which we just didn't really think of, I guess. Um, so Lake Erie, and now we're just the north end of Lake Erie, we're coming into Detroit River, up into Lake Sinclair. The insects are nuts! And every morning we have to wash down the boat because of all the dead insects everywhere. And then, of course, we pick up the anchor and we've got this to deal with. And not just on the anchor, but all over the bridle. And it's dragging in the water, you know, so we've got to get it off. You doing the gardening, my bee? Oh, it's pretty, yeah. <laughs> you should start a fish tank. <laughs>
We crossed Lake Erie in only three days of travel. Yes, I know, we're rushing it. Our original plan was to check into Canada, which would reset our six-month stay in the US. But these were COVID times, and their borders are closed. It was a shame, but we had to rush. And now here we are in Detroit, Michigan. <laughs>